Hey, what's up guys, Winston here. And today we're gonna to be taking a quick look at the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 5070 Eagle OC Ice SFF 12 gigabyte graphics card. The card is powered by Nvidia's Blackwell GPU and features a total of 6,144 CUDA cores, 4th gen RT cores and 5th gen Tensor cores as well as supporting DLSS4. The card has an all-white aesthetic and comes with a subtle RGB LED strip at the top. It also features Gigabyte's Windforce cooling system with 3 Hawk fans which reduces air resistance and noise levels. It has a reinforced metal backplate and a copper plate, a copper heat pipe as well as server grade thermal conductive gel which helps with the cooling. This graphics card features a slightly overclocked GPU running at a boost speed of 2.587 GHz and comes with 12 GB of GDDR7 RAM on a 192-bit memory bus running at a speed of 28 GB per second. Video outputs include 3 DisplayPort 2.1b and 1 HDMI 2.1b which allows you to run at resolutions of up to 4K at 480 Hz or 8K at 165 Hz with DSC. This card is certified NVIDIA SFF ready which means you can fit this in most compact cases at small form factor chassis. It has a length of only 29cm, a height of 12cm and a width of 5cm and only uses up 2 PCIe slot space. The Gigabyte GeForce RTX 5070 Eagle OC Ice SFF is a great choice for those who own a small form factor PC but require a fairly compact GPU for 1440p gaming at high refresh rates. We'll be testing this card against other GeForce RTX 50 series cards that we've tested in the past. So uh, let's not waste any time, put this into our test rig, but before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and then we'll see you in a bit. All right, let's do a quick unboxing of the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 5070 Eagle OC Ice SFF 12 gigabyte graphics card. All right, let's take a look inside the box. Okay, we have a quick installation guide. All right, here we have the two 8-pin to 116-pin PCIe 5 power connector for your graphics card. And here's the graphics card. Let's take a closer look. All right, here we have the uh, Gigabyte GeForce RTX 5070 Eagle OC Ice SFF 12 gigabyte graphics card. And as you can see, it's quite a low profile card and uh, it takes up two PCI slot space. So it should fit in most uh, cases and uh, mini PCs. At the top here, we have the Gigabyte logo and the GeForce RTX. And here's the 16 pin PCI 5 power connector there. At the back here, we have a nice solid reinforced metal backplate, which gives it uh, sturdiness and also helps with the cooling. This graphics card uses NVIDIA's uh, Blackwell GPU and uh, comes with 6,144 CUDA cores, 4th uh, gen RT cores, and 5th gen Tensor cores. Comes with 12 gigabytes of GDDR7 VRAM on 192 bit memory bus, running at a speed of 28 gigabits per second. For cooling, it comes with the Gigabyte Windforce cooling system featuring uh, three Hawk fans and uh, a large heat sink with uh, heat pipes as well as the server grade thermal conductive gel. It's got this really nice white aesthetic and a uh, thin LED strip here which gives you some nice RGB lighting. Let's have a look at the video outputs. We have three DisplayPort 2.1b and uh, one HDMI 2.1b. And this allows you to display up to 4K at 480Hz or 8K at 165Hz with DSC. To give you a comparison on the size of this card, here we have the GeForce RTX 4080 and this is the new RTX 5070 and uh, side by side you can see it's shorter. And if I put the graphics card up this way, you can see the thickness of the card and uh, you can see it's literally almost half the size in terms of uh, thickness. According to NVIDIA, the total graphics power of the GeForce RTX 5070 is uh, 250 watts. So we recommend a minimum power supply of uh, 750 or higher. We'll be testing this graphics card using an Intel Core Ultra 9 285K along with 48 GB of DDR5 8000. And we'll see how this performs against other GeForce RTX graphics cards that we've tested in the past. All right, so this was a quick unboxing of the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 5070 Eagle OC Ice SFF. 12 gigabyte graphics card.
The GeForce RTX 5070 hasn't been as popular as most users have hoped. The unattractive pricing due to its availability and the fact that it has less VRAM hasn't really helped. Nevertheless, the RTX 5070 is meant to target the mainstream market at a reasonable price point, offering decent 1440p performance on games that can support DLSS with frame generation. Doing our tests, we use an Intel Core Ultra 9 285K processor along with a Gigabyte B860 Aorus Elite Wi-Fi 7 ICE motherboard and 48GB of DDR5 8000 memory. We got pretty decent scores in all of our benchmarks, including a score of 8388 for Basemark Relic of Life and a Geekbench GPU score of 181325. For Unigen's Valley benchmark, we got a score of 9308 and a Final Fantasy benchmark of 20736. Passmark 11 GPU score was 31,633. For Superposition 1080p Extreme and Optimized 4K benchmarks, we got good scores of 13,307 and 17,619 respectively. For 3D Mark Steel Nomad and Speedway, we got respectable scores of 5,269 and 5,846 respectively. For Port Royal and Time Spy, we produced a score of 14,125 and 21,922 respectively. And lastly, we got a DirectX ray tracing score of 58.07 frames per second and a DLSS score of 121.1 frames per second. For Cyberpunk 2077 tests, with ray tracing overdrive selected, along with RTX on and DLSS enabled, we produced a score of 38.6 frames per second at 4K. If Gigabyte can keep this graphics card as close to MSRP as possible, then it's definitely worth a look. As far as performance is concerned, I'm pretty satisfied with what the GeForce RTX 5070 can offer. The Gigabyte GeForce RTX 5070 Eagle OC Ice SFF may not be the fastest graphics card on the market in this price range, but it does offer great aesthetics, a small form factor size, and provides decent 1440p gaming performance that's on par with the RTX 4070 Ti thanks to its overclocked GPU. You can check out the full review on our website at funkykit.com. And there you have it. That was a quick look at the GeForce RTX 5070 Eagle OC Ice SFF 12GB graphics card. A decent performing mainstream GPU capable of handling 1440p gaming at high refresh rates and has performance that compares to the GeForce RTX 4070 Ti. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via links in the description and of course visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.